Hello guys, welcome to my first mapping video. Um, I am inspired by Ada's Pro, and uh, let's get to it. Okay, so we're starting off here in China, and we will be doing the Chinese Revolution. Okay, so uh, where shall we start? There will be a couple of major rebel groups, such as a pro-Taiwanese one, um, we'll just start their, their rebellion right along here, taking up quite some major cities along the coast, but China isn't too worried about that. As a Man uh, Manchurian one is entering from the north in several spots of Manchuria, which is close to their capital, Beijing. Sorry, let me do it right there. That is around where their capital is. And uh, they're quite worried. But over in the west, here we have. So, we have Tibet, which is, um, supported by India, of course, so, it kind of goes like that. Yeah. And then up in here, we have a Xinjiang re Rebellion over here, in the Xinjiang region. And, uh... Yeah, that's that looks about right. And now China is looking scarce. It's it's scary for them because they have multiple major cities taken down. Um, maybe the Japanese will get involved. Maybe the Koreans will get involved too. They can get Qingdao, Shanghai, um, Nanking, stuff like that. But yeah, over in Manchuria, while all those rebellions were popping up, uh, oh, sorry, wrong color. Um, Manchurians, uh, start to, like, encircle this area. But in the east, the Chinese do, the PROC does get an advantage and does push them back a little and this entire front is completely wiped out but since most of the Chinese worked on this side now now the now the now um over in the west an encirclement is made and that is quickly wiped out soon enough the Manchurians get lower and lower and lower, and they try to attempt to make like a spearhead. Anyway, we'll get back to that. After, hold on, let me just. We'll get back to that. Let's check in on the south. Um, it's not looking too good for China, cause they have pushed out even more, and are going after the south and north. So they just have one huge south southeastern front and they also have the yangtze valley river so that's not very nice of the chinese uh over in tibet stuff is going on pretty wild over here um there's a lot of guerrilla warfare going on and um Tib Tibetians are winning because most of because they're used to this to the rough terrain. Well, the East is not. Central government is kind of barely passing by with all of these rebellions going on and stuff. So, yeah, just kind of goes like that. 
and they make quite a lot of progress. They try to go over into Chongqing, but the Chinese do push them back, and they do get some parts of Tibet back. While this is going on, Tibet uh, makes themselves a government mid-war, and they write a constitution and everything like that, and all the, um, and that is, that is that they will be allies of India after this war. Um, all of the rebellions come together in Shanghai, and they all agree that once the war is over, and if they win the war, which they most likely will, they will split up the Chinese into four different regions, and I will show you those regions at the end of this video. So, back into Xinjiang, they make very little progress as they go south there, because there's more terrain down there, and it's not as arid. But it's still pretty arid, so they kind of just sweep by. And they make a spearhead down the middle of this and cut off China from the west, cutting them off from their allies in the far west, in the Stanistan area. Tibet also pushes up a little into... Xinjiang, as they have agreed to split this area. So, that's that. And then Tibet's like, man, we are really exhausted. I think we're just gonna stick with this and, and end the war, our war with China. But all the other rebel groups encourage Tibet to stay in the war. And that was a good idea, because Tibet gets a lot of southwest China. Back to the east, though. The, the Tibet, the Taiwa Taiwanese go for the south area, and they capture it, and also Hong Kong. And they sweep up towards Qingdao, which is a major port for for stuff and they capture Qingdao which is not good and they are really near Beijing but the Manchurians quickly swoop down in their spearhead and capture Beijing which is a colossal loss for the Chinese but Chinese do attempt to cut off their little spearhead with a spearhead so they try and go for that and it almost works when the Manchurians flood all of their troops into this because Beijing is kind of really important and it works because the Chinese are really weak and then they quickly split up everybody else. They organized it along these two fronts and most of Manchuria is taken back by the Manchurians. And yeah, that's pretty good for the Manchurians. And they're like, you, we might leave the war soon. And nobody really cares because Manchuria, it's, it's an okay opponent. I mean, that's not the strongest. The strongest I'd say is the Taiwanese. They come in second, Tibet's third, and... Xinjiang 4th, and yeah, just the, the Taiwanese swoop around, they play around with the Chinese a bit, and they capture all of their major cities, so it's not looking good for the Chinese. Also, the red is the Chinese, I'm stupid, sorry, let me explain this. Red's Chinese, yellow's Manchuria, blue is, um... Uh, Taiwan, Tibet is uh, purple, and this cyan is Xinjiang. So, that's what I mean when I mention those. Oh, 
right. Uh, we just gotta, and then Manchuria kind of focuses on here, and they like swoop down, kind of like the Russian one back, in a, a while back, and like the, the Japanese did, and they take over all of Manchuria, and they're like, yo, I'm just gonna stop fighting, I'm gonna hold it, wait till the end of this war. And the Chinese finally surrendered. So I'll just fill that in like that. Okay, so peace treaty time. Peace treaty will be divided like this. Um, let's see. So we will give. Sorry. Hey. So Manchuria. We'll get, let me just, um, sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me clear the confusion. It's easier to do it like this. Okay, so, there, that's China. And China will be split up like this. So, we will go into here. And these are the Manchurian borders, which will go kind of something like that. Yeah, there we go. That's good. Now for the major one will be Taiwan. Because they did a lot of the work capturing all the major cities. Taiwan and Manchuria did most of the work. Uh, Xinjiang will get uh, something like, we'll give them that. And Xinjiang is no longer called Xinjiang. This will be East Turkestan. And who knows, maybe they'll join Kazakhstan and make a uh, unified state of Kazakhstan or something like that. Um, this will be Tibet. Yeah, uh -huh. that's Tibet. They're gonna be quite a long country. And boom, that's Tibet. And the rest is Taiwan. Because the Taiwanese rebellion joined Taiwan and all that, right? So that is Taiwan. And maybe they'll change up the borders soon. So those are the Chinese borders. Like and subscribe. Uh, hope you like this video. Um, yeah. Uh, bye fishies.